Hey Trav, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to thank you all guys for your wishes for my birthday. Thank you so much for your messages and as well for your gifts. I appreciate you and uh, also those who are on Patreon who joined me on, you know, live birthday celebration with Joseph. It was a blast. Thank you for being there. It took us three hours of chatting. So I'm surprised how people stayed for that long, but we had a really good time. Today, subconsciously, I've chosen these decks. Honestly, I, I put them down and I was like, damn, a lot of blues here, hey? So I guess the message for a week is a throat chakra. Not necessarily we'll see, we're gonna look at all piles, by the way, for pile number four, which is on your right. This isn't a, represent, a representation of the message um, that wasn't my intention it was just at the bottom of a deck the eight of cups but if you feel like you're drawn to this pile choose it um, it might come up it might not I don't know what to expect pan number one is a super lunaris deck on your left over here two is the I believe tarot of the angels three I believe is the healing light tarot if I'm correct and this is the vice versa tarot so if you need some more time, stop the video. I'll catch you in timestamps. Hey, group number one people. Let's see what is up the next seven to 10 days from now. Whenever well, you're watching this video. If you want more messages, I believe I made a playlist um, for seven to 10 day predictions. I need to update that playlist though, to include a couple of more videos. I don't know why I said that. Maybe that's something you're thinking of. Maybe at the end of the reading you're like, mm, I'm looking for a message about this, we'll see. Okay, the focus point. The focus point, pile one, the next week, week and a half, justice. Focus point, please. High Priestess, damn. Look at this, one more. Three of Pentacles, okay. Contracts, people, contracts. Pile number one, contracts with Soul Group, Soul Tribe. Um, it seems like you might want to connect to someone intuitively. I don't know what that means to you, maybe te telepathically. Uh, maybe you're gonna feel intuitively that some kind of um, work situation or collaboration, communication with someone else has potential. For, I, I don't wanna say that it has potential for all of you because I'm not seeing any cards determining what that's gonna be like, but it's saying that for a lot of you intuitively, you will know exactly what needs to be done, what needs to be said and you're going to be seeking for equal communication um give and take overall this is a really good time for you guys and i think that's that's happening uh, for tribe members showing up in your life or becoming closer to your own soul tribe nice okay let's look into your work what do you need to know about your work and finances stability overall the next week week and a half What do you need to know? New connection is being made. What do you need to know? So Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, Four of Swords. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Let me adjust the camera a tiny bit. I won't be able to get it all in one shot but let's continue seven of pentacles bottom of the deck let's check ten of wands all right i want to pull one card from one other deck as advice I think I want the ocean deck. What is the advice for people for the next week, week and a half? 
enjoy the journey okay let's talk about this first it says stay present and flexible many changes are going on for you and around you these changes are not only good but necessary bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future and i think that's what you're doing here guys anyways um number three might be important number nine and eleven let's get into the reading uh, those who have uh, their own businesses, uh, this is a great week for you. You're going to be pretty busy. It seems like you're reaping your rewards uh, financially. You're seeing uh, better connections, new people coming in your life. Um, for those who are not, who don't have their own businesses, it seems like this uh, next week, week and a half, you'll be able to focus on your own individuality, independence, and to do things that you love. And this can be a hobby of some sorts for some of you. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. You might be feeling uh, very free in your workspace too. Especially if you fe felt restricted before. You're feeling much more freedom. Um, there's a lot of wisdom that you hold the next week, week and a half. Which I believe will allow you to make really good decisions. What needs to be focused on. What needs to be done. I'm hearing investments for some of you as well. If you haven't gotten enough sleep for the past couple of weeks, the next week you are able to get sleep. Finally, I'm getting for some of you. Maybe your thoughts were a little bit wild. Maybe you couldn't relax the next week, week and a half. You're protecting your sleep, your rest, and your own peace of mind. So you're standing strong here when it comes to work. You're standing strong. You're not uh, running ahead of yourself and that allows you to make really good decisions. Um, to be very focused on your tasks, to determine what's right, what's wrong, what decision would be beneficial for you. But overall, quite a busy week, but it seems like you're getting enough sleep. So it's a very good balance here that I'm seeing. And I think that's what you're doing. You're enjoying, you're enjoying your journey and that allows you to approach your work, your career, your finances, stability in a very peaceful and gracious manner. Let's take a look at this Ten of Wands. And I'm gonna pull a message from Animal Tarot Deck. What is the message for people? What does this Ten of Wands talk about here? The moon, intuition, intuition here. It's important to trust your intuition, even if you are unsure of what's happening. All will be revealed soon, so worry is unnecessary. I split the deck. We have two of spring. Again, decisions. Your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner, which we have over here, to assist in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. Seek for assistance, pile number one, that's for sure. With this moon and the High Priestess, your dreams might be um, telling you, giving you ideas, um, hints about what's to come. I'm hearing prim uh, being able to predict what's about to happen that day or that week. So if you'd like to, um, you can write it down. I know a lot of people don't remember when they wake up. And I like to say, you know, and I think a lot of people say that if uh, you remember a dream when you wake up, it wasn't a dream, it was a message. Uh, but if you wake up in the middle of the night and you are really shaken by that dream, you just, it's almost like it, it's a reality for you. Um, obviously, not everyone will want to get up and write things down. Maybe you want to download an app. Maybe you want to use your, you know, voice app and record it, what has happened and what is the mes message that you think, because some of you are predicting your own futures here, which will come true specifically when it comes to work, colleagues, partnerships, collaborations, okay? Really good collapse, pile number one, really good collapse. It doesn't have to be only work-related. It's some kind of endeavor that you might be thinking of, or maybe you're sitting with a friend exchanging ideas and you go, whoa, this is awesome or reaching out to a stranger online and something good comes out of it. Connections, connections, next week, week and a half. Let's take a look at your relationships, pile one. Oof, jeez, don't shout at me, Taro.
Your oof. Mamma mia, what is going down here? Death Tower. Proper cleansing moment here. A transition is happening. A big ass transition. Okay, this is very personal. That's not for all of you. I'm hearing the time has come and that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. It was all... Oh my God, this message. Um, the spirits were waiting for this to go down. What a message. Okay, what's happening? Strength. You have all mages here. All mages. You're stronger beyond your beliefs, I'm hearing. Page of Wands, a lot of fire here. A lot of fire, lightning. Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups. Star, Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Chariot. Someone is moving on here. Someone is uh, somehow transitioning. Take it as you will. But overall, what's happening here, it seems like you are almost like releasing the energy when it comes to someone else. The energy is being released. The energy has to be released. Um, and it feels like you are willing to do so here. That's something that is good for you. We have two infinity symbols here, so it's very strong. It's very soulful kind of vibe the wheel of fortune is saying that everything is going to turn out great the knight of cups here is saying that um compassion love is coming your way with a star together even if you think that it's far away for you for some of you it's on your map i'm, I'm seeing almost like a road on a map and it's like a pinpoint you know it's on your map so there is no need to worry overall there is no need to worry about your relationships because it does seem like this is very needed the tower is um, demolishing an old I, I want to say pattern here in this pile or something that it has been outgrown here for you and at first you might feel it does feel like you're chilling here um, you're finding peace with what is happening. You're finding peace with what is happening and you know that it's happening for the highest good. You're communicating with someone on a soul level. That's for sure here. You're communicating with someone on a soul level. The relationships, communication with other people is going for a massive transition for you the next week, week and a half. So it's saying what was, no more. It's almost like it's upgrading itself. And I'm seeing an invisible stair, almost like an invisible staircase because it's very floaty. Um, and it's almost like in my vision made of glass. So it's very energetic here. How are you going to be feeling about this? You have the two of wands. You have the three of swords. You have the something unexpected is happening here, almost like a shakeup. But it's interesting because the magician and the strength here, followed by um, following death and tower, is saying that you know that this is is making you stronger. At the same time, you're gonna have to take some to take some time to heal. For some of you, you might be deciding to walk away from something here, or re you releasing something, and this might come as an expected thing for you. But your soul has been looking forward to it because your soul knew that that's going to go down at one point, with the two of wands, especially in this deck. She knew that something is about to go down. She knew about it, but still, it's unexpected. Oh my God, how many cards want to come out? We have the King of Swords. It might be connected to a male in your life or masculine energy. Someone who tends to have more of that. Uh, we have the Hermit. Someone is withdrawing, taking some time to explore the soul, I'm hearing. To explore the soul. And the moon is here. It's very mystical vibe here that I'm sensing. It's very... Whew, it's very deep. 
two of pentacles is here and the chariot is here again someone is walking away and someone has a sense of freedom now someone has a sense of freedom because they've been juggling for too long and a new start is appearing a new start five of pentacles definitely there is some it seems like you might be distant uh, from someone else and that might be causing you might be focused on work afterwards in order to shift the uh, focus um, but it does seem like this is very uh, this is strong this is a very strong energy this isn't something that just like oh got an unexpected message it's um it's pre-planned whatever this is it's pre-planned okay and the moon is telling me say no more okay say no more people will have to experience it and to explore subconsciously and connect telepathically with this person if they need to but overall i'm feeling a big sense of relief Yeah, it might be, again, it's the masculine energy is coming through here. I want to see you also getting help from above for some of you. When it comes to this connection. Six of uh, swords. Someone is feeling much better. Someone wants to celebrate. And someone sees a potential that this has this situation i'm not gonna try and describe it specifically because a lot of people a lot of scenarios but relationships it seems like or relationships specifically with a masculine person is a focus for the next week week and a half it's very mysterious it's very soulful it's very um it's unexpected and it's making you somehow stronger what a pile okay we're gonna pull a couple of messages let me see from which deck which deck do i want to use the magic of your oracle i'm gonna pull a message for you and we're gonna be reading this uh, card from the book Let's celebrate the author. I'm not going to transform the way you see. Number two, by the way, is important. Um, I'm not going to interpret it on my own. Um, number two, number two. So Buho card says, if you want to transform the world, start by transforming the way you see it. Pay attention to positive and pleasing things. Do not be distracted by anything that makes you feel sad or hopeless. You observe with your heart and your eyes. I just want to say regarding the sentence, take time to feel what you're feeling. Don't try to push it away. You observe with your heart and your eyes. Grow in wisdom as you witness the world shaping itself according to the way you see it. Know that wisdom evolves and it is not static or fixed. It is time to not only look outside at the world, but also to look into yourself and comprehend the role we play in the events taking shape around you. Let what you observe transform you. Be uplifted by what you know now about even challenging facts and difficult truths. They are further opportunities for growth and transformation. The girl of Buho holds the owl, which is wisdom, and the butterfly, which is transformation, on her index fingers, which is power, as she gazes on her world curiously and confidently. Buho also means people are watching you and noticing your courage, good deeds and personal transformation and that these qualities will be rewarded boho appears when a reward bonus or notification of approval is about to be received this is beautiful and i'm gonna end this reading with this note tribe thank you for being here love you as always i'll catch you soon hey tribe two tribe two yeah <laughs> part two okay guys it's quite late here, so I'm a bit out of it, but I'm still going. I'm still going. Let's look at the focus for the next week, week and a half. What is going to be important for you guys? Pile number two, people. Very nice. We have the sun coming up. We have the five of cups. 
It came out reversed, and I feel like it's reversed, to be honest, yeah. Then we have the moon. We have the sun and the moon. I'm going to keep these cards in the way that they came out. Okay, so since the sun is upright and the moon is reversed, what I'm seeing here for you guys, it seems like any kind of illusion will be gone if you had questions, if you felt like you're uncertain, you couldn't find, um, you couldn't focus or you couldn't see beyond the veil. The sun is telling you that the next week, week and a half, you're getting all the answers, you're seeing everything clearly in your life. The sorrows or any emotional baggages are going to be washed away. I do believe some of you might be planning a trip, uh, meeting people, having a really good time that's somehow helping you to see your life from a bit of a different perspective. I want to see for a couple of you, you might be waking up a bit earlier than usual and it's because you want to, not, be, not because you have to. Uh, you want to maybe have a little bit more structure or a bit more time for yourself to do things that you want do, to do. Let's look at your finances, career, stability. We have the Queen of Wands come up. All right, Four of Swords. Okay, what is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> you know what I'm hearing? I have no more time to be poor, <laughs> you know? And this can be emotional, you know? It doesn't have to be only financial. <laughs> this is to do with your abundance here, financial abundance, but still. I'm hearing I have no more time to be poor. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You're waiting for a reward of some sorts. Four of Wands, bottom of the deck. We have a Devil. All right. You're not giving your energy for things that don't feed your soul. So it's not to say that in your job you won't perform. You're performing but you're not taking anything to heart you're very chill you're like i'm just gonna work here and see what happens you are seeking for better give and take dynamic what is that sound what's flying around here oh my god i have so many moths like three of them in the corner and it's because i have my window open and the lights on in moths, uh, you know, about moths, right? Transformation, it's very, it's a very mysterious message that they hold. It's almost like this death and rebirth. If you want to know more, look it up if that's vibing with you. But overall, what's happening here, you know what you deserve and you're not taking less than. So say if you're looking for a job, you probably, if, if you'll see like, if you see something that is not, vibing you'll go for example to an interview and you're like i don't know like i i feel like i deserve more i don't think you will take it it's it's very much to do with your self-confidence and knowing what you deserve and you're very patient you're very patient there is a lot of re reflection happening in your work in your career um a lot of you might be working from home here with the four of wands and it seems like you might be thinking about either taking some time off or being a little bit more patient you're not rushing especially if you tend to rush to get things done you're not rushing and that allows you to feel much more present focused and it somehow boosts your confidence as well here you're not falling for old patterns here Someone might want to help you out financially or um, you might receive a comment from someone in your workplace where you're going to feel like you're being appreciated. Overall, I want to say your finances are protected here. The angel is watching you bake those coins. And your home life. 
your domestic environment is also protected. Let's clarify the Five of Pens. Star. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why am I wounding this? Here we go. You know what's happening here? If you felt like your goal is very far away in the past, it seems like you are going to feel much more motivated to go and get it the next week, week and a half. You're like, I can do this. What? Why was I fooling myself? I have stamina, I have bravery, I have determination, and I have knowledge in order to get to where I want to be. So why fool myself? What is it that you are getting here? Ten of Pentacles, you see? You're aiming for the best uh, financial future, and I think for a lot of you, you are in it. Uh, but you might not see it just yet the way that your guides or your ancestors see it because it's already in your vibration field if you don't even if you don't feel you have enough it's in your vibration field meaning um it's coming to you but you might just not see it the tree is growing i think for some of you you might receive a gift or encouragement or a pat on the back from someone who's older than you. A provider I'm hearing. So maybe a boss, maybe someone you work for, um, maybe a parent figure, grandparent figure as well. The devil is here again. Let's see, why are you popping up here? What are you doing here, devil? We have the uh, Four of Cups. You see, you're fighting with your own demons here the next week, week and a half. Um, and it's to do with motivation or it's to do with, okay, I'm being offered this or I feel like I should be doing this. Oh, but I feel so tired. Maybe I should go to bed. So this is that push and pull energy where you are fighting that little demon in your head that's um, telling you not to do something even though you feel like doing something would be beneficial, okay? So I believe that some of you are overcoming some kind of a pattern here. Let's take a look at your relationships. Relationships the next week, week and a half. Romantic, platonic. We have the Emperor. We have Ten of Wands. We have Eight of Wands. We have Six of Pentacles again in the same position. Okay, what is going on? Six of wands and the magician Ooh. you are winning someone who made you feel in the past or still making you feel overwhelmed i want to say imprisoned stiff whoever's energy this is it seems like you are oh this is an interesting scenario someone is going to play a player and play I'm not I'm not talking about fuck uh, boys or girls here okay someone who tends to manipulate um, someone's mind in order to get to where they want to be so someone is winning over a person like that so I think you, what you're doing here you know how to play your play your game right um, and to come out on top It feel, now, different scenario. For some of you, it feels like you're keeping your eye on someone here or someone is keeping an eye on you. There's a bit of stalking happening here, I must say. I would say if you have a really good idea and if you're thinking to make a living off this, do not... Um, Give it away for free, I'm hearing. Or protect your idea. 
because it's quite brilliant and someone might um, use it now don't don't get paranoid if that's not your message just skip that okay um, this is just for one or two of you and I had to put this out number six is important number four is important some of you number eight ten of Pentacles Nine of Swords. The High Priestess. Why Nine of, nine of Swords? Queen of Swords. I want to see the next week we're going to have guys have your boundaries straight, okay? Um, because it seems like you're worrying over... Um, someone else here that you don't need to worry you don't need to worry about someone and you're worrying about them your intuition will tell you everything you need to know about certain connections in your life just listen to your body okay do you feel like you're being pushed back or drawn towards someone Family is very important for you the next week. We're going to have that for sure. You want to protect your family. You want them to be safe. You want them to be happy. So maybe you are bonding with family a little bit more than before. There is a get-together happening. And it seems like someone is sharing um, the, their thoughts about a situation that's um, made them feel a little bit uneasy. Or didn't allow them to sleep and there is a support system around you especially when it comes to masculine energy there is a support system if you need support this is saying you have really good people around you you can turn to yeah collaborate reach out be a team player the next week week and a half okay you can exchange really good energy with people we have the knight of wands Someone is coming to help you with something here or to fulfill your dream or a wish as well, pal number twos. Yeah, it's like a lucky, a lucky connection. Uh, but what's, what's great about it, whatever they're bringing to you, you're going to feel really happy about. It's yours to take, I'm hearing. It's yours to take. Yeah, you're being reunited with someone here, that's for sure. And you're feeling over the moon about that. And this is sweet. I love that for you. Yeah, and there's a wake-up call happening about a different type of connection that I talked about in the very beginning. So it's saying um, you might see someone from a bit of a different perspective. You saw them before. Or you're just going to have this aha moment. Okay, let's pull a message from the Magic of You Oracle. And I'm going to read this. Read the card from the book. number two let's see let's let gravity do the work we have tangibility make your dreams real pay attention to your dreams as well pile number two okay i'm hearing you might communicate with someone in your dreams as well we have in your head sorry is your head in the clouds are you feeling floaty and ephemeral I probably butchered this lofty states of being are best appreciated when we are grounded earth's animals are our teachers when we float in life so long that we feel directionless or confused they show us the way to practical action in the physical plane animals live authentic lives and do not claim to be anything other than what they are consider the qualities of different animals what are you drawn to in this current moment the lesson you need and the best action to make lies in the connection you recognize. The unconditional love and joy of a dog, the shedding skin of a rebirthing snake, uh, the sensuous pouring of a cat, the crystalline transformation of a but butterfly. To find the answers you seek, it is time for animal connection and communication. Communion, sorry. 
I mean, could be both, right? The girl of tangibility comes to know her dreams are possible as the bird aligns are her crown and butterflies kiss her shoulders. The clouds of illusion part and she can see her dreams made real by communing with her animal companions. This is sweet. I think that's why I looked up and I've noticed all those moths up there because they've been with me, you know, for a couple of hours. <laughs> I just talked about them for pile number two. So tribe. Thank you for coming back. Love you as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three. Let's look. Okay, what is the focus? The next week, week and a half. From whenever you're watching this video. The focus. Okay. We have the moon. Ooh, pile three. Brace yourselves. Okay. What an energy here, hey? And the sun. <laughs> Listen. We had the moon and the sun in one other pile. This is strong collective energy here. Bottom of a deck two of cups. This is gonna this is gonna sound how it's gonna sound. Someone wants to come in your dreams. <laughs> I love that sentence because <laughs> it's literally a uh, very suitable here, pile number three. Overall, to be serious, pay attention to your dreams the next week, week and a half. They will be intense. In a dream, you will be able to decide what you want for yourself, but also what's happening here. Uh, your dream is acting like a prediction, especially when it comes to connection about or connection with someone. You have a really good balance between the moon and the sun here, and it seems like that will. Look at that, where you came from. Sorry, <laughs> there are bugs everywhere here because someone left the window open and light on. Uh, very smart decision, so I'm gonna have to let them all out. But overall, pay attention to bugs as well and what they mean. You have a really good balance between the sun and the moon. You know when to use your um, logic and when to use your intuition. When to be sharp and focused and when to trust your gut. You're being open to a lot of opportunities the next week, week and a half. It's almost like you're putting, um, I'm seeing someone writing down what they need to start with making a schedule for themselves, but overall feeling really, really excited for what the future has to hold. Pile number threes. Maybe someone will come in a dream. I don't know. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop laughing at my own jokes as well. Okay, we're going to start with relationships for pile number three because that's something that was coming up already and then dive into career and stability. What do you need to know about your relationships? Plata platonic? Oh my God, romantic, platonic, page of pentacles. Someone is taking it easy, trying to make a decision what to do, choosing maybe. Should I stay or should I go? Should I travel? Feeling quite defensive at the same time. Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Justice, let's clarify that. I don't want justice on its own. Let's see. The star. And ten of cups. Boom. Bottom of a deck, ace of wands. <laughs> I'm going to show you some. I mean, and then we're going to talk uh, properly. One second. 
if my internet won't lag you know when when you really need need it then it's just like mm, I'm gonna take my time let me see so we have the ace of uh, wands if you follow me on insta you've seen this already but <laughs> that's what I am talking about okay so I believe that's what's happening pile number um, three that is what's happening someone is definitely uh, getting late or getting themselves late with themselves um, overall there is a lot of passion here there is a lot of sexual exploration um, look at the Queen of Wands here right it seems like you will want to you will feel overall more sexual you will feel uh, more attractive for yourself as well as for someone else and there is some kind of exchange happening here um, that's gonna lead to a really good outcome. But it seems like someone is um, someone was patient with that. Someone maybe needed time to think about it. Someone needed time to kind of sit with it, or it's not happening the first time you see them. Now uh, let's get out of the romantic um, meanings here. Let's talk platonic. I want to say spending a really good time with someone indoors somewhere. Pile number three. You're going to enjoy yourself big time. I'm seeing family having a lot of fun together or friends. And somehow coming up with a new idea for a new venture maybe or something that people are excited about. You're dealing with someone who's quite patient, who's quite grounded. Their uh, vibe might be relaxing you or making you feel like home. But most of this um, spread is to do with romantic connections. Now, as I said, you know, uh, maybe it's happening in a dream state, <laughs> but it's still somehow happening because it's pretty strong energy here. Maybe some of you have been uh, trying to fight this off. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't want to think about this. I don't want to do this. But, or maybe you felt defensive. Maybe you felt uneasy about this. But overall, there is a lot of fire. There is a lot of passion uh, to be explored. And um, I'm seeing some kind of explosion happening here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> problem number three. Have fun. Have fun. Let's talk work. Um, stability and finances. Work, stability and finances. We have the King of Pentacles. We like that for you for this spread. We have the Page of Cups. Someone is looking at you um in your work situation someone is looking at you working out i want to see as well um someone really has an eye on you here pile number three um so maybe your boss maybe your co-worker you might be asked to go somewhere you might be asked to join some kind of activity together with your co-worker or even a boss maybe uh split the deck we have the four of swords i don't know if, if you're gonna take it or not but your finances and stability, it seems like it's good, but for you, it's all about connections the next week. We're going to have offers from other people and what they have, what kind of potential they have, you know? Bear with me. Masculine energy is important. The next week, we're going to have... bottom of the deck we have the page of pentacles let me see what else um the hermit you're taking some time guys uh, maybe to think things through here when it comes to work you're not rushing you taking it taking it one step at a time um, there is someone you can learn from or maybe some kind of contract is being made here 
work contracts but before that it seems like you're gonna decide to take some time to think about it you're like oh, i'm not gonna rush with this decision i'm not gonna rush i'm gonna explore first what my soul wants to do and then i'm gonna come back a meal is important for you the next week week and a half when it comes to work you have a lot of stamina to accomplish what you want but at the same time you're playing very smart you work in smart not hard here and I think for some of you this would be your advice as well intuitively you might be feeling that something is coming your way when it comes to work but you might not see what I'd say again turn to your dreams or your intuition you see you feel intuitively that things will shift for you work-wise and everything will be great, even better than it is now. Um, but you're like, I don't know, I don't know how everything will pan out to be and you don't need to, it seems like here, because you just need to give yourself time. Maybe some of you want to take a break, okay? Some of you want to explore your own self, wanna be independent here with Nine of Pentacles, okay? Your wisdom, your knowledge, and your talents and abilities are being noticed. Pile number, you see? Ten of uh, pentacles. Pile number three. You're working on something that you're going to leave behind as a heritage. Let's clarify seven of swords. The hanged man. Some of you might not want to talk about what it is that you're planning next. Or what idea you've had, a realization. It's almost like you're gonna surprise people with what it is that you've built or how good you are at something this is great let's pull a message from the magic of your oracle and I'm gonna read it from the book okay pile number threes What is going on? Pile number threes. We have detox. It says social media, electronics, mind altering substances, food, all these things can be toxic and toxic and damaging when overindulged. Detox says it's time to cleanse your body and soul. Rest is required now, especially in matters of an overstimulated mind and emotions due to social media and smartphones. Communication in access is toxic too. It is time to be quiet and consider your authentic self and create space to heal and deal with life up to this point. The girl of detox is laying down on a soft um, bed of shifting leaves. The uh, carafe of liquor set aside for now. She has a wonderful life and her dreams are sweet, again with references to dreams, even when laced with fear, because she's not afraid of learning her lessons. They float from her subconscious like luscious pearls of bliss because she knows when to rest and retreat in order to expand within. Detox is also the card of dream interpretation. I mean, come on now. It is time to pick... Maybe some of you are, um, are the people who provide this service dream interpretation it is time to pay attention to your dreams uh, they are not just fleshing out your active brain there are messages and signposts coming through to guide you boom so on that note um this card kind of summed it all up very nicely here for you guys pile number three i'm going to end this reading tribe thank you for being here love you as always i'll catch you soon <laughs>Hey tribe, so I had this download, I did have this pile, uh, this card for one of the piles, but then I started getting so many messages from the spirit world that I need to share this with you and this would be a message for you. Um, I mean, whenever you feel like you're drawn to clicking on this video, do so, but for most of you, this is the message for the next week or this week already. I would say two weeks from whenever I'm posting this video and 
it's almost like the next week, week and a half, or a couple of weeks from now, you may be experiencing weird things. Meaning, the spirit world might be communicating with you, specifically deceased people, your guides, your ancestors coming through. And you know what I love about this card? I'm gonna put this the phone down, just bear with me. I'm gonna read one sentence from this book. By the way, this would be a great time for you as well to communicate with the spirit that you want because the spirits are going to be pretty present um, collectively, okay? I just want to say that. Um, you might be seeing things with the corner of your eye. You, you might be sensing that you are not alone. Um, maybe something is going to move, you know, it doesn't have to be that intense. But I would just say messages will be coming from the other side. Now, what I love about the description of this card is the last sentence. It says, Do not fear the underworld. Instead, willingly descend into the darkness with graceful awareness that others who came before you have learned the lessons and answers you are seeking and are willing to share their insight and wisdom. I find this sentence very powerful and very suiting for the next uh, week, week and a half. I don't know how about you. For me, this has started, I would say, a couple of weeks ago already. And it keeps on going. So I just need to sit down one day and just, you know, ask um, who needs what. In case um, there is um, help that one of these birds need. Um, what else? Lilies are important. Uh, flowers, especially if you know um, a favorite flower of the deceased person that you um, think of right now as I'm speaking, you might want to maybe um, celebrate their life, you know, by buying a bouquet of flowers for yourself or making a drink that they used to love, right? Or leaving a cookie by the bed um, side table, right? So, something that is quite personal to, to the person. Uh, but overall, it seems like, I don't want to be too specific here, but some kind of transitions are happening um, with spirits as well, okay? It's the, the upgrades, there is some kind of change up there that is happening. And some of them are almost like coming coming down here to pass messages or to say, hey, you know what, you protected. Now I'm gonna do a very quick pick a card here. I didn't intend to do a pick a card. I just wanted to talk about this energy and what to expect for you people. Um, but I'm gonna do that, just bear with me. Now choose from group one, number one, two, or three. How will this impact your how well the spirit communicates with you or whatever you need to know. This is for group number one, people. I'm just gonna do one card read, okay? Especially I'm hearing mothers and fathers, you know, the closest ones. Not necessarily if you if you don't have, you know, uh, one of your parents uh, passed, but Something that is important here, okay. I was told to do four piles because one of the, the groups, not necessarily the fourth one, is going to be a message um, from a child, a spirit of a child. So let's do four. Hmm. I'm getting shivers here. This is very, very strong. Okay. One of these might be for you. Okay. To be honest, to make it easier for you, because I feel like some of you need that, I'm going to put an object on all of these. Hope that's gonna help. If you already saw a number or heard the number, please choose that pile. Here we 
So let me just make it a little bit more tidy. Let me take the phone out of the holder. Whoop. So we have a stone for the first one, shell for the second, a very interesting shell for the third, and I forgot how this is called. <laughs> That's not an acorn. What is the other one? I'm so sorry, guys. It's quite late here where I'm at. I hope you've chosen yours. Let me put you down again. I'm sorry this is not very planned, but I love videos like that, to be honest. That are just very random and when something hits me, it hits me. Let's go. Okay, so for some of you, this might be this um, energy, the spirit that might be present um, around you. This is the young spirit. This is... Um, someone who has crossed um, quite young the way you might feel them um, you might feel something on your feet uh, your legs you might feel the wind indoors okay and it's just gonna feel a little bit weird for you maybe a touch on the toe uh, feet and maybe a leg very very subtle or wind but that's a very young type of energy as someone who maybe um, crossed over when they were, I'm hearing, too young, okay, too young. Group number two, we have the nine of swords. Okay, so this person definitely, this spirit is showing up in your dreams, um, did show up or will show up quite um, soon for you. And I think this is a spirit that needs help. So if you know anyone or if you can do it um, on your own, you know, to ask in your mind what it is that you need in order for me to help you, that would be great. But this, is, this doesn't have to be that the, this spirit needs help overall. It just can indicate that the message will come in a dream, okay? You might dream of them, you might, um, they might say something, um, they might show you something in a dream. Dig a little bit deeper when it comes to this, okay? Um, you might feel the spirit around the time it's, um, it's time to go to bed. Three. Okay, this is um, a spirit that you either lived with or they lived in they from the same town they from the same town or the same yeah i don't want to say country they from the same town they're not too far away um ah, the message here it's saying i'm united with all other ones up there all other family members the i'm seeing an ancestry line here and it seems like they're having a really good time so if anyone is worried about this person or the spirit saying there is nothing to worry about, it's my, I'm hearing my body is so much lighter. And I'm doing things that I loved doing. But specifically they're doing it with um, one or two other people that they were closest to. And then there are, there are others around as well. And this is a very sweet message. Something might happen um, in your home. The spirit might uh, maybe, it's very much to do with your mental state, how to, how to recognize um, if they're around. They might give you an idea about home. A decoration or getting something done in your home environment or visiting a place within, within your homeland. Okay, numbers four. Let me see. Ah, oh, this is a sweet, uh, very sweet energy. <laughs> Just passing by to say hi to you, this is saying, okay? Just passing by to say hi. Whoever this person is, this is someone who was, who was really close to you. It's not someone that you were seeing, you know, from time to time. This person was really close to you. You might feel... A sensation on your somewhere on your arm or your hand being touched or warm warmth um, on your arm or hand um, this person seems like um, 
this person I said the spirit seems like they oof, this is interesting it's almost like they want to transmit really good energy for you so I wouldn't be surprised if after this encounter you might feel much lighter suddenly uh, much um, happier the next day because the it's almost like I want to send you really good energy and I'm sending you love I'm not being told here pile number four group number four what exact spirit this is and I don't know why maybe you already know who this is um, maybe it's for you to figure out and to close your eyes and and feel them because that might be a very sacred moment right so probably that's why I'm being blocked off from that but overall I hope this made sense and tribe let me know what is going on <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one bye for now